Shelby Harris is a guy that uh, re-signed with the Browns. Um, he talked about why he did that as well as the chemistry of this defensive line. One of the allures of you know coming back to Cleveland was being able to to play with these guys and this defense and have Jim Schwartz be your D coordinator. But then also you know when they went and brought Jock in, uh, Coach Jock in, it was a uh, you know, to have just such a, a talented D-line coach and have a talented D-line, you know, it's just, it's only going to go up from here. You saw what he did with the, you know, obviously Houston had some good players where he was at, but then he just helps elevate them. And that's, you know, that's all you want as a player is to have a coach that can come elevate you. How, how has Jacques kind of changed? Man, you know, we just, be, you know, we be joking on each other, be having a good time, but it's, you know, it's loose. And, but then when we come out here, we know when it's time to work. And I think having that balance of being able to be loose and going to work is, is, is delicate. And you have to, and it, it really, uh, you know, uplifts everybody, you know, because we know we're going to have a good time and then we all enjoy each other. It's a great chemistry in the room and, and um, you know, it's only up from here. And, you know, you, the one area of the team that's played pretty well, minus the run defense, has been the defensive line. The defensive line has been getting after it, and, and they haven't played anybody either. You've got guys that aren't going to be on the team who were getting after it on that defensive line. Yeah, I, you know, most everybody who's had a sack to this point is somebody that's probably not going to make the final 53. Um, but you saw this. So, I mean, you know Shelby Harris You know, basically isn't just saying stuff You know, to, to sound like he's saying stuff. Um, you saw, you know, you saw times on the sidelines last year, guys sitting on the bench. And for like once in Miles Garrett's career, like he just wasn't like, you know, the dominant personality. You saw times where Miles was just sitting on the bench laughing at his teammates, laughing with his teammates. Um, and so the, you know, the camaraderie and the fact that these guys get along, it's not, you know, it's not lip service. It's, you know, it's not blowing smoke up anywhere. It, it's the truth. And, you know, good organizations, this happens more often than not, you know, a group becomes a unit that become tight and guys don't want to change. You know, if the money is not that drastic, different, a lot of guys would rather stay where they are. They're comfortable friends, family, this, that there's a million factors of why they would want to stay. Um, and, but it, it, there's no joke about it. And we all saw the way the Browns defense played last year, you know, I mean, celebrating almost after every stop, these guys just had an absolute blast with each other. And I'm sure there is a big, big belief within that room, you know, the whole entire defensive side that, you know, between Jim Schwartz and all this talent that came back, um, that maybe, you know, year one, that was great, but you know, the year two expectations should be even higher than it was year one. Cause you're a lot more comfortable with each other. You're a lot more comfortable with what's being asked of you. And, you know, coach probably, you know, has now developed a good amount of faith in, you know, most of his top 15, 16 defenders that he's going to let these guys just go out there and do their thing.